Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rika, and in today's video, we're going to DIY a candle. But first off, we're going to change the containers for the candle, and for that, we're going to do an amber effect. I saw this on TikTok and I knew that I needed to try this one and combine it with a candle. For this project, I have thrifted two containers, one with a lid and this one costs about 30 Swedish crown, it's around $3. And I also thrifted this one, it's so adorable. And I paid around $2 for this, it's around 20 Swedish crowns. And we're going to use mud parch and some food coloring to make these and i have bought soya wax premium ones let's start and change the color of these containers guess which color it will be let me know in the comments below which color it is and i will see if you have the correct one and you will see <laughs> probably for about a minute or two you will get to see the color but let me know which color you believe it is and let's begin! Okay, that's a really strong color. <laughs> we'll see how that this goes. So what I'm mean doing now is just Pour it in. Whoa. Okay, it's a really strong color. And there's just twist around. I think I need a whole bottle actually. Swirling it around. Okay, I want to have so much color out of that glass as possible. So we're going to mix the other color. And need as much as for the green one because this is a bit smaller so I just want to see how the black turns out in the oven turn the black okay let's try this small one We just set it like so, so we can get all the color away. So let's try this one out. We're going to put those in the oven for 200 degrees for about two hours. We're going to come back and see how it turns out. So stay tuned. So bye bye glasses. While the containers are in the oven, we're going to do another candle instead. So I have this thrifted bowl decoration ish, and I thrifted it for. Two dollars, around twenty Swedish crowns, and I thought it would be gorgeous to have a candle in here. I thrifted a dresser; it's gorgeous, and I think it would be perfect on there. And that dresser is for upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that one. What we're going to do with this candle is to melt the wax and put some brown coffee color in it, and we're going to use some oils for it. In here we have, let's see, let's see what's in here. It's coconut. Oh, I love coconut smell. It smells so lovely. And here we have manil. And I think actually we are going to use both of them in this one. And I will clean it up and we're going to melt our wax. So Let's do that. Let's go to the kitchen and yes, you will see a sneak peek on the kitchen makeover. So shh, don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. 
just going to put the wax in. Okay, let's pour in the color and the scent. And I open my scents and it's it smells so good. Coconut. So it seems like, yeah, it seems like this one have dried. So I think I will just put it aside and we will see how I decorate it later and light it. My containers in the oven is ready and they have cooled down. <laughs> they are not looking well. It, I've lost my words. They do not look well and that happens sometimes when you do a DIY it go, doesn't go as planned and you miss something or and this time I think that I have the oven too high so my plan with the big one is that we're going to do a candle of it anyway because I want to see if the green one looks better with the white candle in it if the green one pops a bit more and if it doesn't, we will just paint it or use clay on it. So, first off, I will show you. This little one with the black in it, it's, it does not look great, but it's growing at me. It looks aged and, yeah, but it's not good. But it could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it looks like marble, green and burnt green. <sighs> It's um, it definitely got the amber effect, but here's the reason why I think it was too hot in the oven. It seems like it burned. But I want to do a candle with this and see if the green one pops even more, or as I said before, if it does look great. So we're going to melt some wax again and use some sense. No color this time, just sense. This one is so hard. We will smell them again. Snickers. This was harvested spice. Cupcake. We will see cupcake. Oh yeah. Oh. This one smells delicious. So that is a winner all so far. And we have cotton candy. Let's smell it. Okay, this one was so good too. This one was really, really, really sweet. And this one was like um, salty caramel. And I really like this one. So we're going to take this one. wax is melted so let's pour it in it is the next day and my candles have dried and this one looks really great but this one it didn't turn out good so we're going to change that I came up with so many ideas that I couldn't choose and I was, oh my god, what I'm going to do with this because <laughs> this is a disaster and sometimes when you do a DIY it will be a disaster. That's just a thing. And this one didn't turn out good. So, so eventually I just decided that we will paint it dark green instead because I want it to be dark green. But 
I found this glitter spray and with this one I'm going to keep it like this because it, it has grown at me. Here we have the color. That's painted. Will we just let it dry for some hours? That was everything for today and I love my candles, they smell so good. And bear with me, I have a cold so I can sound a bit weird. <laughs> and Ghost wanted to say bye too as well. Yeah, do you want it? I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me and thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumb button and please subscribe for more DIYs and more home renovations. Right, Ghost? Right? And I see you next week. Bye!